Philippines is a country in Southeast Asia located close to the tropical equator in the Pacific Ring of Fire. It is one of the rich country with the abundance of natural resources that makes us a biodiversity superstar, which comprise more than two-thirds of the planet's biological wealth and natural capital. Philippines is one of the 17 megadiverse countries which hosts 70 to 80 percent of the world's biodiversity. Our ecosystem's diversity, species, and genetic resources is reflected by the richness of biodiversity from the mountain forests to the agricultural areas, freshwater systems, coastal marine areas, and the ecosystem services provided. Eventually, people depend on biodiversity in ways that are not always appreciated. Many commercial fishers depend on coastal and marine ecosystems as a source of food and livelihood. On the other hand, the forestry sector continues to play an important role in our lives which provides vital assets for a social, environmental, and economic well-being. How amazing Philippines is! It has more than 52,177 described species, half of which are endemic and found nowhere else on Earth. There are five major direct drivers of biodiversity loss identified and these are Habitat loss and degradation Overexploitation and unsustainable use Invasive alien species Pollution and climate change most countries around the world have also similar drivers of biodiversity loss and ecosystem changes as major challenges, like In inland waters, diversion of rivers for irrigation and construction of dams for hydropower change the habitat of river and flora and fauna. Migratory fish species and invasive alien species displace the native one. In coastal and marine ecosystems, where continuous coastal development, marine-based pollution, sedimentation, overfishing, and destructive fishing contribute to habitat loss and degradation. In urban ecosystems, increase in population and development in the area contributes to the fragmentation to the previously connected habitats. In agricultural ecosystem, conversion of agricultural lands to residential and pollution caused by the chemicals use. And lastly, forest and mountain ecosystems are losing habitat and degradation due to infrastructure developments and deforestation. Similarly, rapid population growth, scientific and technology development, and changes in cultural and religious values put pressure towards resource use. There is a pressing need to better understand why protecting our country's biodiversity is important. Without these resources, how can we live? How can we survive?